Hi. If you're watching this video, then you probably want to install OpenNX on your server. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. If you're not quite ready yet and you want to learn more about OpenNX and Tutor first, that will be the topic of another video. Let's get started. Before we do anything, we're going to need two things, a server and a domain name. That server should have at the very minimum four gigabytes of memory, two CPUs, and eight gigabytes of disk space. But really, to run a production server comfortably, we need at least eight gigabytes of memory, four CPUs, and 25 gigabytes of disk space. We can pick a server from any provider, such as AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, or even a bare metal instance. My personal favorite for reasons of price, performance, reliability, and ease of use is DigitalOcean. Note that we can use any operating system that supports Docker. In this video, we will be running Ubuntu version 2204. Once we have launched our server, we should copy its public IP address. We are going to configure our DNS records to point to this IP address. In this example, we have registered a domain name with Namecheap, which is a popular registrar. But we could follow the same procedure with any other domain name registrar. First, we are going to create an A-type DNS record to point to our server. This record will be the address of our LMS. Here, our LMS will run at learn.edly.academy. So we create a record for that learn subdomain. Then, we create a CNAME record to point all subdomains of the LMS domain to the same server. That way, requests sent to any subdomain of our LMS will also be forwarded to our server. DNS propagation is going to take some time after we have created the DNS records, typically a few minutes. We can check the status of DNS propagation with an online tool such as dnschecker.com. Once our DNS records have been successfully propagated, we can start installing OpenNX on our server. To do that, we SSH to our server. Here, we are connecting as root, but we really, really do not want to run OpenNX as root. So the first thing we do is create a non-root user. We will call it OpenNX. We are going to install a few packages as root before we log in as this new user. To install OpenNX, we are going to run Tutor. And to run Tutor, we need three things, Python, Docker, and Docker Compose. On Ubuntu, each of these can be installed from the APT package repositories. To install Docker and the Compose plugin, we follow the instructions from the Docker documentation. Now that Docker and Docker Compose have been installed, our OpenNX user needs access to Docker. To do that, we add the user to the Docker group. We can then verify that the OpenNX user can run Docker by running the Hello World Docker container. It is imperative that we are able to run this command successfully as a user which is not root. In some cases, the operating system does not pick up the addition of the user to the Docker group. We can check if that was successful by running the groups command. The Docker string should be included in the output of that command. If it isn't, then we should exit our user session and start a new session. When we log in again with su openNX, our user should belong to the Docker group. Once our user can successfully run Docker commands, we can move on to the next step, which is the installation of Python and pip, the Python package manager. We can check whether pip is already installed on our system by running which pip. 
If this command does not yield anything, then it means that pip is not installed on our system and we must install it. To install pip and python in a single command, we run apt install python3-pip. We can verify that pip is correctly installed by running which pip again. On some systems, pip is actually pip3. For those systems, we should replace pip by pip3 in all subsequent commands. Once we have both Docker and Python on our system, we are ready to install Tutor. We do that by running pip install tutor square bracket fool. This command installs tutor in the dot local slash bin directory. But our system does not know about this directory. So after we install tutor, we still cannot run tutor commands. To resolve this, we are going to tell the system about tutor. We switch back to root and create a symbolic link from our tutor executable to user slash local slash bin. Then we switch back to our OpenNX user and now we can run tutor commands. Okay, now comes the exciting part. Let's install OpenNX. Tutor is famous for its one-click installation. Everything happens in a single command. Tutor local launch. We are then prompted to configure our OpenNX platform. There, we write the domain name of our LMS. If we make any mistake during this procedure, we can just cancel it by typing Ctrl C and run the same tutor local launch command again. We do want to enable SSL certificates because we adequately configured our DNS records. These SSL certificates will be generated automatically. After that, we are pretty much done and we can watch the platform installation go through the different steps. The installation should take about 20 to 40 minutes. It should complete very reliably, provided we have enough memory, disk space, and network bandwidth. After the installation is complete, our OpenNX platform is now up and running. We can access the platform from the browser, but we can't log in. That's because we should create an admin user account. To do that, we run the create user command. After this command completes successfully, we can log in with a username and password we just created. But there is no course there. Let's import the official demo course. To do that, we run tutor local do import demo course. And then we can check out the demo course right in our LMS. We can run the tutor local launch command again at any point. For instance, to enable the forum feature, we should enable the forum plugin. To do that, we run tutor plugins enable forum. And then we launch the platform again with Tutor local launch. After a while, the forum is properly initialized. And there you have it, a fully operational OpenNX platform. All the commands used in this tutorial are available via a link in the description below. We'll be rolling out more videos on OpenNX and Tutor in the near future, so keep an eye on this channel. Catch you in the next video.